All right, so this is the second of the series of word problem solving. Uh, this is the part two of it. So the last one was uh, was age word problem solving one, and uh, it was uh, shown in the towards the end of the video about this, uh, this problem to be solved uh, the following video. So this is the second part of that uh, age word problem now. Uh, word problem solving in algebra. Okay, let's start. Tom's age will be 15 years more than Ben's age is now when Ben will be twice as old as Tom is now. 10 years ago, Ben was 5 years older than Tom is now. How old is Ben 10 years ago? Okay, so uh, since it was previewed in the in the in the previous in the in the uh, the earlier video uh, showing this problem, age word problem solving, uh, those who were able to solve the problem can have a comparison with the, with this solution that I'll be doing today. So hang on there, and we're gonna start solving this problem. So now, uh, when I tried solving this problem, I found, I realized that there are several solutions to it, like at least three solutions. So right here today, uh, let, me, let me see if I can show you all those three solutions so you can compare your answers with them. But uh, anyway, for now, I'm, I'm just going to try doing the first one or two solution, solutions. So... Let's start. Okay, the first one, uh, uh, first thing that we have to do is uh, again identify the variable or the one that's being asked, the unknown, and uh, try to figure out, uh, make a solution out of it, formulate uh, equations out of the uh, the problem sentence, and from there we analyze. The sentences and start formulating okay so now let's read the problem again Tom's age will be 15 years more than Ben's age is now when Ben will be twice as old as Tom is now 10 years ago Ben was five years old uh, five years older than Tom is now how old is Ben 10 years ago. Now, since what's being asked here is Ben's age 10 years ago. So, so from that question, so the variable, we can uh, show the variable as just one over here for now. Okay, so, so let x, let x be Ben's age 10 years ago, 10 years ago. Since that's being asked, so let's uh, put that variable. Now, as normally in solving age uh, word uh, problem, this way uh, it'll be easier if we tabulate the, uh, the, the ages uh the time frames for each one like the past the the present and the future age whichever is uh, presented in the in problem so uh, tom's age will be 15 years more than ben's age is now when ben will be twice as old as tom is now so that's the future tense there's so the future tense right there it's will be tom's age will be 15 years more than ben, Ben's age now, age, Ben's age is now. So 15 years more. So that deals with the future. And then you have here time indicator uh, relationship. This says Ben will be twice as old, see, twice as old. That's future again. And say sure and this 
twice as old as Tom is now. So that's present tense. The same here in the first part of this the first sentence says here, Tom's age in the future compared to Ben's age now. So future, present, and on the last sentence, I mean the second sentence <clears throat> says here 10 years ago. So now, so let's make a table showing those three time frames. Yes, past, future. Let's complete the table. So Ben and uh, the future, we don't know how many years in into the future. So now it says here, let X, Ben's age 10 years ago. Okay, so let's put that as X. All right, so So your Tom's age will be 15 years more than Ben's age is now. Okay, then this year when Ben will be twice as old as Tom is now. It's talking about uh, Ben's age twice as old as Tom is now. So what do you think? All right, so <clears throat> since uh, we're represented X uh, as Ben's age 10 years ago, what uh, Ben's present age is X plus 10, because that was 10 years ago, so this is X plus 10. So it's uh, Tom's age will be 15 years more than Ben's age is now so Ben's age is x plus 10 so Tom's age will be 15 years more than Ben's age is now present age 15 more so that means uh, x plus 10 that's Ben's age uh, that's 15 Okay, so sure, 15 years, more than Ben's age is now. Okay. Then, uh, time indicator when, it says here, Ben will be twice as old as Tom is now. Okay, so 10 years ago, so Ben was 5 years older than Tom is now. So, what's uh, Tom's age now? Is it says here 10 years ago? Ben's age, Ben was five years older than Tom's age presently, the, Tom's present age. So, it says here, five years older, so that's Ben. So, uh, Tom's age, so, can be represented as on the present age, so, since uh, Ben is five years older, so X minus five. That's uh, Tom's present age. So on the table, it says there now, present ages. You got Tom's present age. How, how, how old was Tom past 10 years, 10 years ago compared to the present age? So that should be X minus 5 minus 10, right? So X minus 5, present age. Minus 10 years. That's uh, Tom's age uh, 10 years ago. So how much is this? We we try to just simplify that or X. So let's see over here. Okay. So X minus 5 minus 10. It's simply X. Just remove the parentheses. It's 5 minus 10. So that's x minus 15. So this is just represented as x minus 15. All right, and simplify this one too. So x plus 10, remove the parentheses and it plus 15. 
So it says x plus 25. So this is x plus 25. We simplified this one right here. Comes to a x plus 25. This is how it was simplified. So now we have to complete the, our table. It says your uh, second part half second half of the first sentence. Sentence Ben's age is. I mean, uh, where is that? Right here. When Ben will be twice as old as Tom is now. Okay, so Ben's future age will be twice as old as Tom is now. So Tom is now. What's the, Tom's present age? So that is uh, x minus 5. So says so your Ben's age. Ben will be twice as old as Tom. Is now so twice that. So that is uh, twice uh, Tom's present age. So x minus five. Okay. Now, if you notice, we have just one variable over here. So x. That's uh, Ben's age ten years ago. So w now. It's about time to formulate our equation. Focusing on the table, so we have the past, present, and future ages. Yes, future ages versus the present ages. So that's future, future ages minus uh, present age. Present ages. So future and present. So when it comes to Tom, so that is uh, future minus uh, present. So it's 2 times x minus 5 minus the present, x plus 10 equals Tom's future age minus Tom's present age. So that is uh, x plus 25 minus uh, x minus 5 2 times x is 2x 2 times 5 negative 10 minus x minus 10 equals x plus 25 minus x minus minus plus is 5 so simplify it further so 20x so 2x we have x and x minus and plus right there. We cancel that out. Plus and minus. So now we uh, we have this uh, x two x minus x that is uh, x minus ten minus ten minus twenty. And right here in the right side is twenty five plus five that's thirty. <clears throat> so simplify it further. So x is equal to 30. Move the 20 to the other side. Negative becomes positive. So equals how much? It's 50. That's Ben's age 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Since we have solved value of x already, our variable, we go back to the table and we substituting value of x to 50 so we just want to check our answers let's do a table so it's still it's just substitute the values so this is Ben's age Ben and this is Tom so the value value of x right here is 50. Let's do that right here. It's 50. So Tom's age 10 years ago is x minus 15. So 50 minus 15. What's that? 35. 35. Present age, Ben is x plus 10, 50 plus 10, that's 60. Tom's age, 
present age it's x minus 5 that's 50 minus 5 how is that 45 and uh, Ben's future age 2 times x minus 5 so x is 50 minus 5 45 times 2 is 90 90 and x is plus 25 future age for Tom so x is 50 plus 25 that's 75 50 plus 25 75 Now let's compare the table, compare it to the problem uh, statement. So it says here, Tom's age will be 15 years more than Ben's age is now. It says, yeah, Tom's age in the future 15, uh, I mean 15 years more. Uh, where's Tom's age over here? Tom's age will be 15 years more than Ben's age is now. So 75 minus 60 that's 15, right? So, so that's correct. So, and uh, Tom's age will be 15 years more than Ben's age is now. So that's correct. And then second part is Ben will be twice as old as Tom is now. Where is that? Ben's future age is 90. Ben's age is 90. So it's here. Twice as old as Tom is now compared to Tom's present age. 90 and 45, it's twice, right? 45 times 2 is 90, so that's twice. So, and they say here 10 years ago, you go back uh, 10 years. Uh, ben was five years older than Tom is now. Ben was five years older, Ben, 10 years ago versus Tom's age, present age. She said five years ago, Ben was older by five, five years. So 50 here, Ben, 45 was, 45 is Tom's present age. So that was five years difference. So that's correct, right? So that should be all for today. Thank you. The next video will be part three, the alternate solution to this problem. I'll see you again.